Hey guys, EVP Man here. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking a look at a very ultra portable bike from Tesco. It's the STT and this bike basically is a foldable bike that has a 1000 watt motor that has tons of power. So first let's talk about the specs. As we highlighted, 1000 watts, which means that you're gonna get anywhere from 40 to 60 miles range when you're pedaling with pedal assist mode. Not bad, huh? Also, if you wanna be able to ride that 100% electric, you're gonna get up to 25 mile range. That's gonna be pure electric. Uh, the weight capacity in this bike is really decent at 330 pounds, that's total weight capacity. So that's you and um, if you wanna carry stuff on the bike or in the case that you are you know, a heavier set person, that's the total weight. Uh, it also then can support riders up to 6.4 feet tall. It has one of the longest or the tallest, it has an adjustable, I would say steering column that goes pretty high to allow for that height. Um, it basically is going to go anywhere from 18 to, my experience has been almost 30 miles an hour depending on your weight and how the wind is working. It's, it goes pretty fast. And it has an 8-speed Shimano system. Hydraulic front fork, hydraulic brakes, and has zero to five when it comes to the pedal assist mode. That's how much power you can increase. It does have puncture resistant tires and one of my favorite uh, form factors, 20 by four uh, from CST. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a ride. We're gonna see what the experience looks like. Also, we're gonna do a close up on the bike so you can see all the features. Uh, and then you'll see why this may be a bike for you to select. It's a, it's a great looking bike. I really love the overall design. It's a little bit different and that's hard to come by, especially when you're talking about bikes. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right guys, so today we're taking a look at uh, this new electric bike from Tesco. Uh, this has one of the most striking frames that we've had on the channel when it comes to a foldable bike. I really like the way this area of the bike here looks. It just looks really, really stocky. The fact that it has, again, 20 inch, four inch wide tires that are puncture resistant, uh, has really nice worry free fenders that you don't have to worry about them getting rusty, uh, has hydraulic brakes, hydraulic fork, which is adjustable, and has one of the tallest, I would say, columns that I've seen in a while, right? So when you think about the steering column right here and how far it goes up, it's pretty, uh, pretty substantial there. Now, this is one of the few last, I think, great days in Chicago when it comes to weather, and we're taking advantage of it, obviously, today. So, again, great tires, great suspension, hydraulics, brakes, as well as fork, and as we look at other things in the bike, uh, we'll highlight is that maximum weight for this bike is going to be around 330 pound capacity. You will notice that in the back of this bike, I have a, a bag, a uh, satchel of sort. Uh, that actually not only is going to allow you to carry some goodies in there, like when it comes to, uh, let's say, for example, water, some supplies for your tires if you want, like a compressor and stuff like that. Uh, it's also 100% waterproof. So if you want to carry some electronics back there with you because you're going to, let's say, uh, go on a long day and you want to be able to have a battery backup, as well as being able to take pictures, drones, things like that, very safe back there as well as it expands. And we'll see that when we do the close-ups of the bike uh, that could even carry a laptop, a, a tablet back there as well. Now, this, the actual saddle itself for this bike is also incredibly comfortable. Uh, wide saddle, but then also has suspension on it itself. So it has saw, some small um, shock in it as well, which I really like. It's a little deceiving though, because as I did the fitting the first time around, because of the suspension, I kind of, um, I put it a little bit too low, thinking that it was just at the right height. And when I sat on it, it went down. It has some, you know, some suspension there that you'll just have to watch when you set it up the first time. But besides that, that's pretty much it. Now, your gear system on this bike is found on right here on the right side. So this is where my hand is, and it's right here on this side. Uh, seven speed, or actually it's an eight speed Shimano, eight speed Shimano system. Now the gears of the Shimano system are pretty easy. They're found here in the bottom. You have one behind the actual grip here and one on the bottom, but they're both uh, really easy to access. Now this bike has a very, very smooth pedal assist mode. This thing is a delight. Uh, as I'm looking at the steering, uh, one of the thing I wanted to highlight is that it has one of the brightest, most legible 
I would say, LEDs, uh, screens that I've seen in a very, very long time. And we review a lot of bikes. This thing is crystal clear in direct sunlight, and it is super bright. So I love the green that it has with it. Uh, just looks so good. And then you have some nice uh, wrist palm rests right here on each side. So if I look at this side right here and this side, palm rest. So that's going to be great for fatigue. Uh, you don't really have a problem there. And you're going to get some decent miles with this, right? So you know, you're looking up towards to 60 miles on this. Um, obviously, that's going to be human pedal assist. And it's going to be very, it's going to vary based on several things. It's going to be varying based on your weight. It's going to be varying about how much you contribute also. Now, terrain plays a big deal. You know, if you're going uphill, downhill, or if you're on flats, uh, when it comes to battery life, top speed is supposed to be rated at 18 miles an hour. Uh, so that's electric. And just overall, this thing is, is just a really good looking bike. I just love the overall ride. It's just a delight to ride for sure. All right, so we're basically going to pedal and I'm gonna turn on pedal assist mode one to see how fast I can get. And I just kicked it in. It wasn't jerky. It feels great. You can see me pedaling. I'm right now at 17.3 miles an hour is what this is clocking. I'm gonna give it one more kick up um, I can see that now I'm hitting 18, 20, uh, 463 watts is what it says. Oh, by the way, this is a 1,000 watt motor, right? 1,000 watt. This thing is like loving it. 21 miles an hour without much effort. Wow, that's pretty good. And that's still a pedal assist too. So on pedal assist two, we were able to hit 20 miles an hour. So we're gonna go ahead and hit pedal assist three to see how much faster we can get. And we're definitely not going 24.5, 25 miles an hour. All right, we're gonna go continue the pedal. Right now, pedal assist four. Wanna see how fast we can get. And I'm gonna move it up to pedal assist five, which is the highest. And I'm hitting comfortably 27.8 miles an hour. That's not bad, actually 28.1. Oh, I'm digging this bike for sure. 28.5. All right, guys, so next thing we're gonna do is a speed test. Uh, we're gonna see how quickly we could get to top speed. I've been clocking up to 29.7 miles an hour on this. So we're gonna test this out, we're going full throttle. I'll call out what I see, 10, 14, 15, 17, 18, uh, 20, 21, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26.9, let's see what we're doing here, 27, 27, 27, 27, 27.7, 27 27.8, 26, 27, 27 even so far, that's not bad. All right guys, so next we're gonna go through uh, my bumpy terrain. This is kind of like my shock and comfort test. Uh, not super rugged, but it is kind of bumpy as we go through this uh, small nature walk. First of all, I have to say, very, very comfortable. Uh, the tires give you a lot of traction. This is gonna be good for sand, snow, dirt. Um, the, the fact that you have that support on the saddle just gives you a great experience. Love, love, love Chicago. We have our, the leaves are starting to fall for sure. And you can just see how beautiful uh, this walk is. Um, overall, again, just, Really, really nice ride. Um, love the palm rest. Um, no noise. There's no rattle outside a bike rattle, right? So if I, again, you hear that little chain uh, noise as you're riding the bike, which is kind of standard on any bike. Uh, outside of that, everything else here is just bike. Uh, even when the electric contribution kicks in, things are just smooth and, and quiet. You don't hear a very loud motor even though this is a 1,000 watt, you know, powertrain on this bike. Just like, woohoo, very nice. All right guys, so the very first thing that we're gonna focus is on the powertrain and the tires that you see right here. Uh, you're looking at a 1,000 watt gear hub motor. Plaques, penny of power, plenty of power. You also have some great 20 by four fat tires. And these are 
of, of all the tires the, uh, that on um, bikes that we have tested on the channel, this is kind of my favorite. For me, my personal sweet spot, I love how stocky they look. I like the size. I like the well, uh, well they ride. And this, these are all terrain tires. So they're going to work well in sand and snow in uh, in dirt, in urban areas, as well as in city areas as well. So great experience there. Now, you also notice that the, the cartridge here in the back that we have a Shimano 8-speed uh, system here. Uh, you have nice protection there, right there in the corner. Um, and also, you have worry-free fenders. So you can see those fenders right there are going to provide um, mud, um, you know, water. If you're riding and, and it starts to rain or you go over a puddle, you don't have to worry about getting wet. Now, we did get from uh, Tesco, we did get uh, this bag, which we're going to look at in a couple seconds. But first, we're going to cover the rest of the bike. Now, this bike has one of the most striking frames that we've seen on the channel for a very long time. Now, we have looked at bikes that have basically uh, foldable systems in the past. We're going to be un we're going to be folding this a little bit later. But what I love is this design. At first, I was like, "Wow, that that's different." Um, you know, how easy is it to get on and off? It was very easy to get on and off, but I just love kind of like the, the beefiness and the look of this bike. So really, really nice looking bike. Now, because this bike is foldable, uh, when you push in the pedals right here, you're able to push them up like this. This is gonna be great if you have it, let's say in your SUV, or you just don't wanna get your shin hit by this um, when you're transporting it. So I love the fact that these fold really nicely. Now, the next thing I wanted to highlight is how nicely tucked away cable management is here. So um, all your cables get tucked underneath here. They come in through here. They're not in the way and they get tucked in uh, through the frame. So you have a really nice, uh, clean, I would say, profile. Uh, for those of you who are curious about the folding mechanism, you know, basically all you do is you open this up. And once you open this lock right here, you uh, push this this way and it folds in half. Now, once you open up the folding mechanism, what you'll notice is that you have the battery here, and that's what the key is really used for. You'll notice that there's a key here that you can actually um, place, which we have, and then the battery slides out. Now, the bike does have a hydraulic fork. It's adjustable right there. You have a really nice, powerful LED, which we'll turn on in a little bit. And then also you have those, again, worry-free, maintenance-free fenders here in the front. You get a better view of the treads here. You can see how nicely, uh, how nice these treads are, right? So giving you that grip that you need, no matter what type of terrain you're running. Now, cables, you know, you're gonna see in a second how tall the steering column is here, but this is again, uh, the extension of the cables, and the cables are gonna come out pretty far out in front of the bike because it is foldable. So it has to have the slack that allows you to fold the bike, um, and that's gonna be present um, as you look at the bike from the very front, but it's something that you get used to really quick. Now the bike does have front and back disc brakes and those disc brakes are going to give you great stopping power. Uh, the powertrain, that 1000 watt powertrain is gonna deliver 40 to 60 miles per charge, right? So you're gonna be able to have a great riding experience as well. And for those of you who are curious about the capacity, you're talking about 330 pounds. So if you have a person and goods, uh, it can support up to 330 pounds. Now the handlebar does feature one of the tallest steering columns that I've seen in a quite long time. And it also means that you can extend this uh, even higher. You're talking about being able to support riders over six feet tall. So, um, you know, some cases, if you're tall, your arms may be leaning too far down because the steering column doesn't come high enough. This comes up really high. Uh, the other thing that you'll see is on your, uh, this is where your, uh, your actual thumb uh, throttle is, which is different. You know, uh, many cases you find it on the other side. I'm comfortable. I've had many bikes that have it on this side. It becomes very natural. You have all your controls here as well. So your controls are going to be here and they're going to give you the ability to, again, to turn it on, turn on your headlight, power up, and then change information that comes up on the display. Uh, on this side over here, you see that you have your uh, actual Shimano shifting system. And that's gonna be by two uh, actuators that you have one on the bottom and then one on the top. And that's just gonna move this forward and back. You also see that you have your brakes on each side, so you'll be able to actuate those as well. Now this bike has one of the brightest displays that I've seen. And when you see our riding experience, you're gonna see how well this lights up even during the day. So you have information here that tells you about your trip, your max speed. I've been able to get 
a little bit over 25, 26 miles per hour on this. Um, and again, the, it all depends on your weight, depends on the conditions. We're in a flat terrain, we don't have to go up, but it just, um, it, it runs really, really well. And obviously depending on the terrain and depending on your weight, the battery life and the range are gonna vary. Now, just to show you a little bit more about how this display works, um, you can go into the different pedal assist modes just by pressing this button, and you can see how easy it is to read right there. It just goes through each one of them, and that's the last one. So, uh, and then if you're gonna turn on and off your light, all you do is you push this button, and once you turn off the light, uh, for, what, for some odd reason, the display becomes brighter. And it may be because as it's distributing power, it does it. And this could probably be a night mode. I think that's more what it is. So if I turn this off, this is day mode, which makes it brighter so you can see it in sunlight. That makes sense now. And if I basically press this one over here and I turn on the light, it gets dimmer because it's nighttime, doesn't need that much power. And also you have the front headlight. Now, for those of you who are curious on what the headlamp looks like, I'm gonna turn it off. So you can see it off, and then I'm gonna turn it on, and then I'm gonna put my hand in front of it so you can see how bright this is. This is very, very bright. You can see how much it's illuminating right there. Uh, gonna be clear enough, great enough, and it has almost like a magnification area there that really creates a really nice uh, broad beam. Now there's one other folding mechanism. Uh, when you're folding the bike, we showed you the, uh, the midpoint that uh, kind of folds the bike. If you use this one right here, you're able then to fold the steering column as well. Now to fold the steering column, all you do is you push this latch up. And I opened it up just to show you what's going on. When you push this up, this lock um, goes up and it comes out of this, like it shifts up right here. And then as soon as you do this, then what you're able to do is to fold uh, the actual uh, column. That's gonna be essential, especially as you're looking at having this in the most compact size possible. You fold in the middle and then you basically fold this down. Makes it really easy to store, especially if you're in an apartment and it's winter and you just don't want to, again, having the bike take up so much space. Now this bike also has a great saddle. Uh, the saddle actually has suspension. So you notice how it has a little shock right here. Um, I was pleasantly surprised because I, before I go on, on rides with the bikes, I always kind of fit it right for my height. And I set it up, I hadn't sat on it. And when I got on it, I finally felt like, wow, why are my knees riding so high? And it's because the shock gave with my weight. And it just provides a really nice ride. So you have a great saddle, uh, very comfortable to ride, and then you have this shock. So you have the front shock, you have the great tires that are gonna give you great uh, suspension, and then you have the saddle that gives you even more comfort. Now, one other great accessory uh, that is available also uh, through Tesco is this uh, this pouch or this bag. Absolutely highly recommend if you have a rack or if you pick up this bike to get this bag. This is great, especially if you're going out, you're gonna go grocery shopping, you're gonna go if you're just gonna be out for the day uh, because it is, first of all, it has waterproof, it fits a lot of stuff. You can keep drinks in here, you can keep, you know, if you're gonna go on a picnic, all those things are there. Even if you're commuting for work, this is gonna work. So when you're looking at this, at first you can say, well, wait a minute, where can I put my laptop? Where can I store like the things that I have to take with me to work? So first of all, things to highlight. Uh, you have these bungees right here that are gonna allow you to put things here if you need to. If you're a creator like I am, um, even a tripod fits in nicely here. As I zip this open, and you're gonna see kind of like the expandability that this thing has, because it has a lot of it. Um, you can see inside, everything is plastic here, and you can see that there's kind of like this expandability that starts taking place, giving you even more uh, flexibility and this is where I'm like was so surprised you see how this opens up here and, and creates more space and in the inside you have these accessories right so here's something that you can use to just cover the bag to make sure um, you're really protecting everything in it there is a strap here so if you want to take this with you which I highly recommend like this wouldn't be something that you leave with your bike you basically ride your bike you have this here with all your supplies and then you have the strap that you can put it around your shoulder and take what you have here with you right so um, and then it has all these compartment uh, little thingy digamajigs in there that you can use um, to be able to separate or actually separators now this is what got me really intrigued with these with these is the fact that this opens up and extends. You see how much this opens? Now, as soon as you do something like this, right, all of a sudden, this is on the side, this is gonna fit a laptop. 
So you can put your laptop in here. It's going to be nicely protected, right? And you notice that there's some Velcro here as well. So I can actually move this out a little bit if I'd like. There's bungees, right, that give you, again, some more flexibility to keep this nice and tight. And you can put larger items here. Now on the side, you're going to find that it has this zipper here. So you can see what I'm talking about. And you can see this amount of space will fit a MacBook Pro. It will fit an iPad. It will just fit so much more. Now, if you're using this for grocery shopping, you can put some groceries here as well. So this is really great, especially um, if you're going on short or long days. Now, let me show you how I attached it. Uh, basically, and you notice how it, I left that expansion there so you can see that. You have over here where you can put um, cell phone or you can put some other things that you're going to take with you and you have bungees that you can lock this up and you also have straps. And though on the bottom though, you have these straps. This is the strap that I had wrapped underneath this frame to be able to secure it. So super easy to put on and really fast to take off, especially if you're going to want to carry this, have it on your shoulder or, you know, just remove it very quickly because you're needing to get into the office. Now the back of the bike does have a power LED for brake. So as soon as you press it, you can see how, how bright that is. So right now the light is on, and that's why you see that there. Uh, and, but as soon as I press it, it gets even brighter. And if I turn off the, the, the actual light and I press it, you'll need to notice how it pops up again. Great, great safety feature. So guys, that wraps up our review. See you in the next video.